It's a joy to join you in prayer today. I'm here with Walston to pray along with you. Repeat after me. Hail St. Joseph, spouse of the Virgin Mary. Hail St. Joseph, spouse of the Virgin Mary. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O St. Joseph, foster father of Jesus Christ. O Saint Joseph, foster father of Jesus Christ. Guide us in our daily lives and help us to grow in faith. Guide us in our daily lives and help us to grow in faith. Glorious Saint Joseph, patron of the Universal Church. Glorious Saint Joseph, patron of the Universal Church. Intercede for us and bring us closer to Jesus Christ. Intercede for us and bring us closer to Jesus Christ. Now let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph I come in my tribulation and pain today to you. O blessed Saint Joseph, I implore your help and the assistance of your holy spouse, Mary our Mother, through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus. I humbly beg you to graciously hear my prayers. Through the strength of your intercession, come to my aid in my time of need. O Guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of God. Intercede for us so that we can be safe from sin and from the influence of evil. O Mighty Protector, be kind to us and assist us from heaven in our struggle against the power of darkness. O Holy Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong before the throne of God, I place all my interests and desires in your care. Please pray for me now. At this moment, please ask for everything you need and believe in your heart that you will receive it. Write it in the comments with complete faith in God. Saint Joseph, thank you for hearing my prayers. Please assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, all spiritual blessings, as once you rescued the child Jesus from the hands of King Herod. So now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and all adversity. Shield me by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, I may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, obtain for me a pure, humble, charitable mind and perfect resignation to the Divine Will. Be my guide, my father, and my model. Blessed Saint Joseph, I consecrate myself to God Almighty. Just like you were to the child Jesus, may you always be a father to me, my protector and my guide in the way of salvation. Obtain for me great purity of heart and a fervent love of eternal life. I come before you today with a humble heart, seeking your intercession and guidance in my life. As the earthly father of Jesus Christ, you knew firsthand the challenges and joys of family life. I ask that you help me to be a loving and patient parent, just as you were to Jesus. Guide me as I navigate the ups and downs of parenthood and help me to instill in my children a deep love for God and for others. I also ask for your assistance in my work and financial life. You were a hard-working carpenter, and you always did everything with excellence and dedication. Help me to approach my work and finances with the same spirit of excellence and to do all things for the glory of God. 
Finally, I ask for your intercession in my spiritual life. Help me to grow closer to God each day and to deepen my love for Him. As I journey through this life, may I always seek to follow the example of Jesus, Mary and you, Saint Joseph. Glorious Saint Joseph, by your example, may I perform my actions for the greater glory of God. In union with the divine heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary. O Saint Joseph, I am thinking of you and child Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach him while he rests in your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Pray for me, Saint Joseph that when my time arrives, I may experience the peace and joy of a holy death. Amen. Now we will say the Bible verses which talk about Saint Joseph from the Gospel of Saint Matthew. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. Let us pray. Dear God, I thank you for the example of Joseph who willingly accepted your plan for his life even though it was unexpected and challenging. I ask that you help me to have the same trust and faith that he had in your goodness and providence. I pray for myself and all those who are struggling with unexpected challenges in their lives. Fill me with the peace and courage that Joseph experienced when he heard your angel's voice in his dream. I offer this prayer in Jesus' name, Amen. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Second and final Bible verse from the Gospel of Saint Luke. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Let us pray. Lord, as I reflect on the story of Joseph and Mary's journey to Bethlehem, I am reminded of your divine plan and how you work in mysterious ways. I thank you for the example of Joseph, who obediently followed your call despite the challenges that he faced. Help me remember the importance of hospitality and generosity, and always be willing to help those in need. Help me to follow the example of Saint Joseph 
and Mother Mary, who showed great faith and trust in you even in the midst of uncertainty and difficulty. May I always be open to your guidance and direction in my life. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Before I leave, I dedicate this prayer for your intentions. May God's will be done, and may He hear and answer our prayers in His mercy. Remember to say this prayer as a novena for the next nine days. Share this prayer with someone who needs it. Subscribe to get powerful prayers. Click on the bell button and select all. We have a powerful new book for you. Find out how you can receive it for free by clicking the link in the description. Thank you for watching and may Saint Joseph pray for us.